You're into kettlebells, I got something for you. Check the first link in the description. It is our free course where we offer you 30 days filled with kettlebell workouts. Click the link, sign up, and enjoy. Grüezi miteinander, Gregory von Lebestag here. I've just watched a video from a doctor who explained why bodybuilders are dying and why they are dying young. It's a powerful video, you find the link in the description. He shared a few powerful statements that I want to share with you right now because they encapsulate why the kettlebell is such a powerful tool. It makes a strong case to use kettlebells from now on if you really want to be in optimal physical condition and take your longevity to the next level and take care of everything all at once. He shares these statements and they resonated with me so powerfully. That's why I want to share them with you right now. Now, I think there exists a subconscious misconception about the sport, which exists misleadingly in the realm of health and fitness. That these people who look like they are in peak physical condition when compared to the average individual are in fact healthier. Sure, lifting weights and building muscle mass can contribute to health and longevity. But when taken to the extreme, not so much. In fact, optimal physical condition has less to do with outward appearance than we may initially believe. Optimal physical condition is the state that allows you to live within an environment with a high level of function, comfort, and efficiency, while at the same time minimizing the level of pain and avoiding injury. Optimal physical condition improves function and prolongs life, and prepares you to be able to adapt to a wide variety of conditions and tasks. Optimal physical condition is more than maximal strength or maximal hypertrophy. It is also about flexibility, mobility, cardiovascular endurance, proprioception, and balance. Boom! Did you hear this? Optimal physical condition is more than maximal strength or maximal hypertrophy, even though strength and hypertrophy or quality muscle mass still belong into this category of being in optimal physical shape. It is also about flexibility, mobility, cardiovascular endurance, proprioception, and balance. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is one of the best cases that speaks for kettlebells. Kettlebells serve you strength, quality, and lean muscle mass, flexibility, mobility, cardiovascular endurance, proprioception, and balance all in one session. That is the reason why I'm such an incredible fan and why I'm so passionate about kettlebells. And this video once again shows me that it was the right thing to divert from the path of the typical traditional hypertrophy realm of training to follow this route to build the maximum amount of muscle on each and every one of my bones and instead now move my body in a way that is more suitable for long-term health longevity that's the reason why i wanted to show you this video i think this message is so incredibly powerful i want to invite you to watch the full video all these powerful benefits that the kettlebell encapsulates in only one training session you can get them right now if you pick up a bell and you treat it the way it was designed to be used it is so incredibly powerful it stands superior compared to other training modalities yes i know depending on your goal this also the, that it uh, dictates on what type of training modality you want to use but when it comes to long-term health and longevity and still looking good and and being just an optimal physical condition, the kettlebell is where it's at. And what I think is also depicted in great detail in this video is the contributing factors as to why bodybuilders are dying young. It boils down to the fact that it is the steroids they're using, these unhealthy lifestyles they're living, the training and workout regimens they take their body through in order to look a certain way and i remember watching a video that said well show me the body show me the evidence as to why steroids are killing bodybuilders or as to why steroids are responsible for heart problems etc etc and he really lays down the case 
and shows you as to why there is an elevated risk and as to why we can say with certainty that steroids have detrimental effects about your long-term health and especially your heart. And one thing that the doctor doesn't mention and that I want to mention right now is there is nothing in bodybuilding. It is a zero-sum game. You risk your life, first of all, if you engage in it in a way that even folks do that do it on a recreational basis. They don't even want to compete. Dorian Yates says in the video that even some of the guys who do it recreationally use more stuff than he was using, even though that seems like an exaggerated claim. But there's no money in it. The smallest percentage, there is a, a small percentage that makes money. And even in that regard, they have to spend it in ways to be ordered to finance their lifestyle. So there's nothing in it. Even if you're competing, yes, it is a passion. Yes, it is a lifestyle. I do understand it. The work ethic, I do understand everything that goes into it. But if you reach a certain age in your life, and if you weigh in on the cost to benefit ratio, I just don't see the reason to follow this type of lifestyle and that's why i'm such a strong proponent of kettlebells you can still look aesthetic you can still look great and you can still be in physical and optimal physical condition and touch all the necessary bases because most bodybuilders you know what it's like oh i don't want to do cardio and i remember when i was having a conversation with a bodybuilder as we were going on a walk and his heart was racing and pumping and he was breathing heavily even though we were just walking. But his heart was breathing so heavily because it's already been taxed and burdened by the lifestyle that he was living. Kettlebells can be lifesavers in that regard. You still train with weights, you get your cardio sessions in, you do everything all at once with great benefits and you'll still look great. If you're a man over 30 and you want to get in shape and you don't want to puff your muscles up and go down that path, or maybe you were like me, you were in that trajectory, going down that route, and now you want to change things up, the kettlebell is the way to go. And if you want to learn more about the kettlebell, you got to like and subscribe because we're about all things kettlebell. This channel is dedicated to kettlebells only. Thank you for watching. Catch you in the next one. If you're looking for kettlebell courses that can help you lose weight, build muscle, and improve your kettlebell technique, then check out the Laborstock Academy. Let us help you discover a new perspective on kettlebell training, making it simple and easy for you to understand. Join the waiting list of your desired course now and secure your spot when it's open for enrollment. Link is in the description.